follow YouTube. That's something I just want to show Elise Lighten. Now, Elise Lighten, apparently, this is um, something I made. It's just from a simple plank of wood. Look at that. Wow. You talk about cool. And it's actually a... Um, it's actually a wooden Naginata staff from... Uh, it's uh, Japanese, but I actually made that. I would wrap that around it after, uh, you know, spray paint... After uh, I wrapped up that around it and used a plastic uh, hill guard originally used for a uh, Kindo Shinai. Kindo Shinai were uh, made, of, uh, made of four slabs of wood each. And then... They put like a soft, uh, some kind of a soft rawhide tip on it, and then tie it down really nice and tight. And then when they do that, the handle actually has like a, like a long area, long stem with a covered in rawhide itself, also white rawhide. And both tip, the tip and the, uh, and the the hilt are, are covered in rawhide, but. I added this, which is a like a blue duct tape kind of thing. It's actually not duct tape, but uh, painter's tape. And I wrapped it up and down, and I also wrapped that on the bottom with a uh, regular tape, and gave it like a gold look. Spray painted it like so. That looks like it, like a pommel down there at that that end. And you can see here how it's how I wedged it, you know, purposely. I just used like an all, like an all pine wood board, and broke some of the parts off, you know, until it created a, the the broad tip design, where you know, and it was always originally a uh, always like a oval shape to distinguish blade direction, just like a regular sword, like a regular samurai sword. That's always the interesting thing about it. So, I thought maybe I'd show you. Please, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think, Elise. And, um, apparently I've had that thing for a long time, and it's held together a long time, too. Held together really well. And it's 3.17 in the morning right now. Dad's going to leave for work in a second. He's already outside smoking smoking a cigarette, so kind of like what the the Russians would call it in their accent in their accent they would say uh, cigarette something like that like I'm going for a cigarette <laughs> all kind of like that if they had some English <laughs> just a small joke, first of all uh, around here we, we make jokes like Russian, the Russians would call it if you you run out of uh, you run out of cigarettes, call it tough shitsky. <laughs> because it's tough shit when you when you run out of cigarettes, you're like, oh man. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I don't smoke. My dad smokes like a chimney. 